now let us discuss about t flip flop t stands for toggle in this video we are going to discuss about uh, logic symbol or block diagram circuit diagram truth table characteristic table characteristic equation and excitation table of uh, t flip flop first let us see about logic symbol or block diagram t flip flop i accept one input that is t it is a flip flop so we must apply clock pulse so this is the clock pulse and it produces two outputs such as q and complement of q that is q bar now let us see the logic circuit diagram here the logic circuit diagram for the t flip flop is similar to sr flip flop but in sr flip flop we have two inputs such as s and r but instead of that here we have only one input that is t so here we have only one input so that is t so t will be passed to the uh, this first nand gate as well as this second nand gate and we need to apply the clock bells uh, this is nothing but uh, sr latch and it produces two outputs such as q and q bar okay uh, so the circuit diagram is similar to sr flip flop only but instead of sr we have to pass only one input that is t now let us see the truth table so here we have only one input that is t and uh, the next state output is denoted by q n plus 1 so here the inputs may be either 0 or 1 if the input is 0 then the output is current state output only so let at the current state we have 0 so if the input is 0 now we will get 0 only let us assume that current state output is 1 so if the input is 0 then output is 1 only so here if the input is 0 then the next state output is similar to the current state output only so that's why here we have written qn whereas if the input is 1 then the next state output is complement of the current state output so that means let the let the input is 1 and assumes that current state output is 0 then what is the complement of 0 1 so 1 will be the output let the input is 1 and assumes that the current state output is 1 then what is the next state output that is complement of 1 that is 0 so this is about truth table if the input is 0 then the next state output is similar to the current state output so qn if the input is 1 then the next state output is uh, is complement of the current state output that is qn bar now let us see about the characteristic table it accepts two inputs t and qn t and qn and it produces qn plus 1 as the output here we have two inputs so totally we will have four combinations 2 power 2 four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 uh, now let us see the what is the next state output that is qn plus 1 if the input is 0 then what is the next state output that is current state output only so here what is the current state output this qn is nothing but current state output so we will get this 0 only next one input is 0 and what is the current state output 1 so next state output is nothing but current state output only why because here the input is 0 so 1 here the in the last scenarios input is 1 if the input is 1 then the next state output is complement of the current state output so 0 complement is nothing but 1 next 1 complement is nothing but 0 now let us see the characteristic equation qn plus 1 is equal to here we have in qn plus 1 column here we have two ones so what is the first one 0 1 so we can write 0 1 as t bar q n plus here we have one more one we can write this as plus t q n so that is nothing but the formula for exclusive r so the characteristic equation q n plus 1 is equal to t exclusive r q n now let us see about the excitation table so for the excitation table q n and q n plus 1 are the inputs 
and the output is t so we will have uh, two inputs so four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 uh, next here if q if the if q n q n plus 1 is 0 0 then what is t value 0 next combination q n is 0 q n plus 1 is 1 third combination q n is 0 q n plus 1 is 1 so what is t value 1 next combination 1 0 1 0 so q n is 0 q n plus 1 is 0 so 1 0 means t value is 1 1 next last combination q n is 1 q n plus 1 is 1 so what is t value 0 so this is the excitation table 0 triple 1 0 so this is about uh, t flip flop